leaders are hoping to send a strong message tonight as they march through the streets of downtown San Diego. The group is protesting against a controversial statute that allows the district attorney to charge gang members with crimes they didn't actually commit themselves. San Diego 6's Carlos Correa is live in the newsroom to explain. Carlos. Well, many families spent the evening walking around the courthouse showing support for more than 30 men who now face life in prison under Penal Code 182.5. Through music and prayer. Oh, peculiar God, we are here to pray for 33 young African American men who have apparently done nothing more than love their neighbors. The faith community is walking together for justice, hoping for fair and equal treatment under California Penal Code 182.5. This is beautiful. This is a good show of community. It's what we want. Um, I think that the family should be very well pleased and it's represented well. 182.5 makes it illegal to be an active participant in a gang, and it's how District Attorney Bonnie Dumanis is charging 33 individuals who now face life sentences for crimes faith leaders say they did not commit. We're going to be, we're praying that Bonnie Dumanis and the end of the old justice system is going to do the right thing. You know that they're going to drop this case, drop the 182.5, and if they want and just and go after criminals. Go after people that have committed crime. Aaron Harvey was stopped by police in the summer of 2014. He was arrested for conspiracy. He's out on bond but could be locked up for life if a judge doesn't dismiss charges under Penal Code 182.5. We represent our community. The gang has adopted these things. We did not adopt the gang, nor do we accept it. Faith leaders hope the march will educate the community and finally bring justice to Aaron Harvey and the other young men in the case. They don't want to say that me and my family are star athletes and academics. They don't want to say that we have college scholarships. They don't, they don't talk about the education. They want to demonize things. A San Diego County Superior Court judge will make a decision whether to dismiss the charges against the 33 young men facing life sentences. The court hearing is set to take place tomorrow morning. Live in the newsroom, I'm Carlos Correa, San Diego 6 News.